modeling subtraction of integers using a number line. Here we go. These are the directions that we are going to be using. We're going to start at the first integer in the expression. So whatever integer is given first from left to right, we're going to start at that first, the first number. When subtracting a positive number, your value decreases, which moves you to the left on the number line. That's what we normally do with subtraction. We start at a number and we go, we say sometimes we say go backwards, but really we're going to the left, going more towards the negatives. So if we subtract negatives, you actually increase your value, which moves you right. Because we can't move back because we move backwards or we move to the left for positives. So we got to do the opposite when we subtract negatives. It actually moves you forward. Another way to remember this is, let's say that you owe somebody debt or you owe them money and you're in debt. Well, if you pay them back, you pay back your debt, you no longer owe. So it's like having negative amount, paying back those negatives, you no longer owe negatives. Kind of makes you more positive, right? So that's the way that I try to remember that. So let's start at one that we would know. So we're going to start at positive three on our number line. So here we are. And we're subtracting a positive, so that moves me to the left. So we're going to go back two units to the left. And I end up at positive 1. So 3 minus 2 is positive 1. Negative 3 minus 2. Start at negative 3. Now we're subtracting a positive, so we're going to move to the left two units. So we'll move to the left. I'm at negative 5. A way to remember this one, let's say you owe somebody $3.00 and then you borrow another $2 from them, now you owe them $5. And owing people is like negative, so negative five. Negative three minus negative two. So we're gonna start at negative three again, but this time we're taking away negatives. So when I take away negatives, I'm moving forward or to the right. So I'm gonna move to the right two units and I end up at negative one. This would be the situation where you owe somebody money, but you're paying back what you owe. So like you're taking away your debt. So now you are in less debt. Let's try one more. Three minus negative two. We're gonna start at three, and we're going to take away two negatives. But remember, when you take away negatives, you move to the right, or we can say move forward. We're gonna go two units to the right, and I'm gonna end up at positive five. And that is subtracting integers using a number line. So don't forget, let's go back to look at our rules at the beginning. We always start at the first integer in the expression. When subtracting a positive number, your value decreases, which moves you to the left. When subtracting a negative number, your value increases, which moves you to the right.